coming in, guns blazing with a very mixed composition. So here you guys, here it is. The 10 heroes that will enter the grand finals for game number one. Who you got? Spam it in the chat. I wanna Spam ask it in the chat. Hashtag break the code or hashtag go Onik because we're gonna see Onik taking on Blacklist International once again here in MPL Invitational 2021. But from the compositions, Gani, I've gotta say, I like Onyx Draft here. I feel like they are multi-dimensional. They have what it takes to be able to take down Blacklist International's draft. But again, Blacklist, they have a way, even when they have the you know, let's say, quote unquote, the less, yeah, we, you know, the West, the less uh, crazy, crazy draft, the less uh, calculative draft. They have a way of forcing their opponents to play with their tempo, and just like that, we are gonna enter the land of dawn again. Hashtag break the code or hashtag go on it. I want the chat to crash here. Let's yes. see what happens. Already a lot of damage placed onto uh -oh. Keyboy. It might be first blood instantly as a flicker will be popped on it drawing that first resource. Yeah, but take a look at the positioning here as Sans is trying to steal mm. the buffs from Blacklist. Will it succeed though is the question. Haji trying to give out information. Bakito is nowhere to be found here. And there you go. Bakito will safely secure the orange buff and will rotate towards the jungles of Blacklist. Blacklist though, wise though, will claim that Lethal Wanderer. Yeah, look at that. Already the cage coming in and this, oh my god, the Sanguine Claws doesn't connect, but the Bat Impact will be able to chunk Haji to half HP. Regeneration has been popping wise. He doesn't realize that his orange buff has been taken away by the side of Onik Esports right here, as we are going to see the mid lane pushed away from the side of Onik and Blacklist. Sans has made his way all the way to his purple buff with the help of Drian. We'll be able to take that with no problem whatsoever. But wait a minute, Wise is hungry. He wants Whoa. to get something. Sanguine Claws will be able to connect onto two members right now. Uh -oh. Sans joining in. It is going to be a lot of damage placed onto him. But Wise is hungry for the kills, but unfortunately Sans will be able to get away. Blacklist International caught in the midst of it all. It's going to be Wise in a 1v1. The Sanguine Claws connects onto two, and that's going to be Onik picking up a kill. Going on again for Haji as he flickers in. The dodge is coming in from Sans, but it is going to be a two for one for now. A two for two right now as we are seeing Keyboy dashing in onto Venus. It's a 1v1, and Keyboy will be able to slay the queen for now. A 300 gold lead picked up by Onik as they get the 3 for 2 trade. But wait a minute, it might be the equalizer from the prince. Nope, Keyboy gets out. My oh my, Mirko. Grand finals, game number one in action packs already Spicy. from the get go. As we take a look here, though, Wise has initiative on towards Turtle. Dreon taking a lot of damage from Haji. Oy. No, it will be a solo kill from Haji. What a solo kill. The equalizer coming in from Blacklist International to get the kill and to get the turtle. Still, now, turning the favor and getting the goal lead for themselves. Onik needs to stay composed. Yeah, they need to stay composed here. Okay, they won that play there. Taking the orange buff, buff, but at what cost here? Right now, Blacklist with the gold lead and Onik desperately searching for compensation. Absolutely, three kills on the board for both of the teams. Keyboy has rotated to the top side, trying to deal some damage onto Haji right now as both teams will play a little bit passively with no neutral objectives on the board. They're forced to go for these lanes, right? Oheb already getting a level advantage off of CW. Bruno, yeah, he does really well against the against the people like the uh, Alice, but going against the Lunox, he's actually gonna get out-traded most of the times right here. The Marksman doesn't really do well into this matchup. Yeah, indeed, and we can see here the positioning from Sadver Homer is already somehow covering the go their gold laners. But it is their gold laners just farming the minions. And again, for now, very, very passive here. Different from two minutes earlier. Very different from two minutes earlier where we saw a lot of fights happening on the board. Blacklist International wants to play it slow, wants to force the tempo on the enemy team, but it's gonna be Sans going in onto Venus right now with the help of Haji. Unstoppable force has been used. Ejector back to the team, and that's gonna be Wise popping into the deadly catch. Will he be able to get the kill with the guy to win, helping Sans to get away? Is he gonna be taken down? He still manages to survive with the Sanguine cause, not connecting on anyone. Drian forced to flicker away as Blacklist once again gets the favorable trade on the board. But Keyboy doesn't wanna stop there, goes back in to use those blooms. But look at that, Haji has rotated to the top side, Flicker coming in, the Ejector will be able to bring it wow. back, and that's gonna be the kill picked up by Blacklist International, taking the kill advantage here. The offense from Blacklist proven so deadly here, two lanes control, top side as well as mid side. Drian still claiming the stacks though with that bad impact, 10 seconds toward the next turtle. 
10 seconds towards the next turtle, 5 seconds to be exact right now, as Keyboy will try his darn best to be able to get some, soak in some of the XP in the top side. Edward, though, will be able to spot Boots in that bush, in that bush, <laughs> as <laughs> Boots will be forced to back away. Yeah, for now, again, uh, turtle is still idle, but Blacklist wants to give pressure towards the mid side first here. We can see here Black Wise is already rotating towards the turtle right now. They have the initiative. They do have the initiative. It doesn't seem like Onik will look to go and contest this right now. It is going to be the first, the second turtle claimed for the side of Blacklist International without any contest whatsoever. This is what we said. They're very objective centered, a very objective centered team. They play for the setups and they are just the best in the world at getting those setups to happen, right? Getting all those pushes, getting all that engage and early game pickoffs in the early game. It was just really, really brilliant from the side of Blacklist. Yeah. Yeah, most definitely here. And again, right now, Keyboy though needs to be careful because Haji has information. Top side, still 2v2 action, but no commitments to its fight just yet. Once again, both the XP laners seem to be happy here, just clearing the ways as Esmeralda already though rotating towards the mid side. Yep, as we're all rotating to the mid side again, this is what Blacklist International likes to do. Once the laning phase starts, once they get the second turtle, this is what they like to do: is they like to group up as a team together, walking on, walking around the map as a unit. And is in the top side. Sans already in the top side, trying to get the victory against Oheb, but Venus will be there. It's gonna be the ejector popped in for Haji, not able to connect onto anything. Circle Eagle will be able to bring him back right there. CW now with the follow up damage. Haji caught in the bad situation, but still will be able to escape for now. Keyboy though needs to be careful. Oheb pops to chaos, and that's gonna be Oheb. Taking the kill onto Keyboy. With the Sanguine Cloud connecting though, it's gonna be Onik looking for the re-engage. No damage just as of yet. Oh, have forced to flicker away. Sans dash is in. Unfortunately, not gonna be able to get that damage onto Ohem as the healing will surely come through. Boots forced to back away with the glorious pathway as Blacklist International again still staying with a 1000 gold lead. Wise though, he's hungry for the kills. He's gonna go onto Boots. The flicker will not be used, actually, will be used by Boots to get away from the deadly catch in the end. My oh my, the control here from side of Blacklist really can controlling all three lanes and again the queen with the heel top side managed to give the, uh, his teammates survivability for now once again on still on the back side economy wise and as well as third wise uh, what can they do? What can they do indeed? 1.8 thousand gold lead. They like to suffocate their opponents and that's exactly what they're doing here. Sans going in onto Edward though. Not damage just to Vienna. Zangu Klaus will not be able to connect. Edward goes in for Flicker, but Ansel Force will be able to connect onto Haji. They're gonna go for the ejector as on the other side. CW gets picked off again right before the third turtle. Keyboy now is gonna be next on the chopping block as Ohep goes in for some damage, but Keyboy is not gonna be able to do anything there. Blacklist are completely suffocating on it again. 2,000 gold lead picked up, Ghani. Wow, now the last turtle will be picked off. Not just the turtle, Blacklist looks to claim the top side turret as well. Once again, Onik Esports, they are still in the back with Blacklist though. They might want war here if Onik gives a chance. They are looking to end this inner turret here, Mirko. Right out. Oh, Deadly Cash has been popped, giving space. But Glorious Passway as well. Wise is the target for now. Circling Eagle has connect, but the damage isn't enough as Boots Leading away from the fight, Haji oh. though will not commit to it just yet as again the Queen giving more heal. The healing is absolutely just bonkers for the side of Blacklist International. And they're going to be able to get the inner turret now, looking for more on the board as they look to keep on pushing this top side. Drian hasn't been able to get those effective Sanguine Claws, actually whiffing most of those Sanguine Claws for now. As now, Blacklist have the 4,000 gold lead, three turrets to zero, six kills to three. Uh, big yikes here, but take a look at Blacklist. They want to contest, they want to invade the jungles for side of Onik Esports Sans, trying to do what he can here, but the retribution wanna connect Edward though. Where's Pathway for defense? Sans, what are you doing? Entering oh. the midst of the fight and a whole head deals a lot of damage, and there you go. Sans goes down for the second time. Sans goes down for the second time, and Haji will be able to bring Keyboy back to his team. The damage just not able to get the kill just yet. Keyboy taken very low. It is gonna be the turret next on the chopping block. The bat impact will be able to connect, but only to the minion waves right now as Haji looks for another pick. He goes in for a flicker, and ejector will be able to bring boots back, and the damage will be enough to time. Oh, he picks the kill off, and the Sanguine Claws will miss once again. In the bottom side, though, Circle Eagle has been popped onto Edward. CW trying to run away right now with the Gliding Wind, able to get him out, but the Retribution and that pistol from Wise just almost, almost one-shot CW. Who base supremacy, Mirko? Take a look at all of the outer turrets from the side of Onyx Esports has been claimed for it's from the side of Blacklist once again. 
Blacklist with a 6k gold lead. Take a look at the items. Weiss completing VOD early and as well as War X and Force out of Oheb. Genius one and the combo of Lightning Truncheon and as well as Clock of Destiny as well. Looking hella nasty. This is absolutely just Blacklist International completely dominating from the first minute up to the ninth. 6.5 thousand gold lead right now as they are just completely controlling the map, man. Look at the positioning of Haji. Look at the positioning of every single member. They're going and sending Edward to the top side. They're getting some pressure off the board, whereas Blacklist are the ones taking the board, man. They split the map so, so well. Able to just cycle these, you know, the pressure, cycle the movements from the side of their opponents every single time. And Onik, they fall in victim once again to this movement. Onik got out rotated here, Mirko, of course, and outclass as well. And Blacklist displaying once again their qualities as why they are the benchmark of Mobile Legends as of right now. Again, 10 minutes in, Lord will march in right, right now. What can they do? What can Onik do to defend? Honestly, what Onik can do is they need to turtle. They need to turtle in the base, look for a team fight, maybe look for a cheesy pickoff. Because right now, if Blacklist continue at this pace, it seems like there's no way of comebacks, right? They only need to go for a desperate fight. If Blacklist, even then, you need Blacklist to overcommit. If not, he, they're just going to completely control the game right here. They're mm. getting every single lane, freezing up every single lane, and even building slow pushes all across the board. Wow. You can see it from the mid lane, from the bottom side, and even the Lord pushing in. It is going to be that two-way push. Driando will choose that bad impact to clear the waves. This is why this Sicilian is so, so good for Onik. They need this clear, the constant clear to be coming in, because if not, it is just most probably going to be Blacklist sieging out on the base for the price of nothing gone. Yeah, that is true. And Blacklist, again, realizing that comp is, uh, the Sicilian comp is on a boosting time. They want to end the early. Oh, take a look here, as All My Venus opening up early. But All My Venus oh. takes a lot of damage. There you go. Sicilian picking up the first kill. For now, what can they do? Because Onik Esports has managed to take down the Lord, but they need to clear the super minions. Yeah, there you go. Like I, like I said in the beginning, right? It's going to be Onik actually looking for these cheesy picks all across the board, though. Keyboy needs to be careful. Haji pops an ejector. We'll be able to bring him back, but the guiding win, perfectly timed by Keyboy to get out of that situation oh. as Edward joins in the fight. Bat Impact will be able to find its mark, but only onto Edward. Very sustainable right, as of right now, getting all of his health back after that first initial burst. Uh, nasty damage from Ohad, man. 403 stat, and take a look. Mm. 45k worth of damage as I sp speak there. Again, Oheb dealing a lot, a lot of trouble here from, from the side of Onik. But Drian comes in second place here with 41k. So again, both mages here from each team dealing the most damage. Absolutely, but the conceal has been popped. CW caught in a bad situation uh -oh. right now. Force to flicker away, but Sans goes over the knockoffs. Right, go in for the cover, but Ejector will be able to connect on the side. His damage is going to be available to take him down as Ohem goes for more. Keyboy forced to back away. He has Athena, man. That's a tank, and it's still him getting melted down by Ohem as Wise will pick up the first inhibitor turret in the top side. He, there's no way you can take him down, and Blacklist look to completely suffocate on it. Esports under the base. Falling Simon connecting onto Drian right now with Ejector also Connecting, Drian forcing a bad situation, will be taken down by the Prince as Haji will be the one traded back. Now CW going in for the free hits onto Edward, but look at the damage gone. It's simply not existent. Sans just moments away from respawning, but it's gonna be Blacklist once again pushing the base, going for the falling time with Wise picking up the second inhibitor turret, and that might be the game, Ghani. Blacklist here still very strong with four. They want the pressure, they want more as they perhaps. Even though the, the waves has been cleared, they still want to open a team fight here mid side. Waves has come now. Boots and as well as friends, will they be able to defend this one? As Falling Summer connects onto CW, Dave, CW tanking the most damage there. But take a look at Boots zoning three members here as Blacklist finally, finally relief off pressure. Holy moly! They relieve off pressure after the three inhibitors have been taken away, Gani. Man, oh man, this is Blacklist in their prime. 10,000 gold lead, nine turrets to zero, Gaudi. Wow. This is not a Suffolk, this is illegal. <laughs> this is illegal, my dude. Ube supremacy at its best. Again, take a look. Why is getting picked off only once, but once again, Ohab hasn't died once. Sans, though, picking up that uh, malefic war early, perhaps. Uh, he wants to fight. He wants to give an impact. Take a look. 0-3-2. Not looking too good as comfortably. Blacklist will claim the second Lord. 
The second Lord has been taken away by Blacklist International, pushing themselves to a 12,000 gold lead right now. The Lord is going to be marching down the mid lane. This is not going to be good for Onyx Esports. If they continue at this pace, Blacklist International will be able to get the base. Yeah, again, uh, with the Gold Lab economy here, and of course, three inhibitors down for of Onyx, what can they do here? They cannot do much. They might they might expect Blacklist to f make a blunder, but then again, you're up against Blacklist. Uh, his mistakes are uh, slim to none. The bad impact will be able to connect right there as Haji pops in. Ejector all the way to the backside. Will not be able to connect onto anyone as Edward goes in as well. Now, Deadly Catch has been popped. It's going to be Oheb being the target, but Keyboy unable to get anything done. Sans gets Volo killed by Wise in the midst of it all. And the base is going to be the target for now for the Blacklist International team. They're not even going to stutter. The base will just be taken down. And that is a dominant, dominant first game for the Filipino champions. Wow, textbook game gameplay there from side of Blacklist. Congratulations, Patent. Chill, but there you go, the 10 there heroes that will enter the Land of Dawn. Let's see who does it. This time, I'm going to have to say Blacklist International, man. Their draft, literally, they couldn't have asked for a better draft for <laughs> themselves. This is Blacklist on all of their comfort heroes, Ghani. The Cho for Haji, the Makito for Edward Balboa. We got Bane, Matilda Airlines, and Lo Yi. Whereas... Lunox. Yeah, I mean, Lunox, my bad. You know, I'm so blank right now because of the draft. Oh. And, okay, Onyx Esports, though, have Rafael. Yi Shun Shin, Esmeralda, Nathan, and as well as Ruby, as we are about to enter the portal for game numero dos. Are you ready to take off, Ghani? Ready yeah. to fly? Let's go. Let's go. Seat belt Control check. the airline. Seat belt on as we are going to go fly into the land of dawn with the guiding win from Venus right here. Hashtag break the code or hashtag Onyx. Go Onyx for you guys who are supporting the teams. Again, don't lose hope because there is still a chance. A best of five for both of the teams. Haji already going very aggressively onto Keyboy. Once again, we'll be, win we'll be able to win out on the trades. Deja vu to game <laughs> number one. Deja vu from game number one right now, though. Haji, again, on this show, will create nuisance for Sans and as well. Oh, Keyboy again, forced to use the flicker. Once again, Haji doing its jo d j d job. Right now, Sans dealing damage on towards Haji, but for now, no commitment just yet because Wise will somehow. Oh, oh my take a look at Rian there. Oh, my Venus, the queen taking off pressure on towards Rian. Yeah, the pressure on Hadriad right now as Wise picks up the little Wanderer. Wise is already having a little bit of an XP lead right now onto Sans. Will be able to go ahead and actually, Wise, he's doing two camps at the same time. This is why he's been able to get so the level so, so fast in these games. That is the secret right there. And Eason Shin already going in onto his orange buff. Will lose out in the XP for now as Wise is just so, so dominant. But again, Venus, Matilda Airlines. Venus, Matilda Airlines indeed as again as Sans here. Trying to pick up the purple orange buff, but Haji with the information. Oh, oh, retribution forced to be used here. Haji already baiting that retribution, and Haji escapes with half HP. Drion, though, here taking a lot of damage, somewhat damage from the queen. Yeah, it's so hard to go against it. the lane. Look at the damage coming in from the bloom right there. It is going to be Venus winning out of the trades. Drion will be forced to back away with the Mountain Chakra, able to get some damage on the board. Sans dashes in, but will lose in the trade. The Eastern Shin will not be able to deal damage here in the early game. What he needs to do is keep on scaling. Onik, they can't go and play the tempo of Blacklist. They need to make the tempo for themselves right now, because if they keep on doing that, Simply, mm. Blacklist will be able to over the, or, you know, get the lead once again. But it seems like Ghani, they might just go for the turtle right here with the help of Drian as well. Boots has rotated. This is the time for Onyx Esports to look for something. Then the cash has been used. The turtle will be slain. So Wally Star Moon will be able to connect on the two right now. It's wise gets taken very low. He gets taken down. First blood has been picked up. Haji now in the midst of it all. Edward goes over the knockoffs right on the two. Still not able to get anything done as Onyx has actually drawn first blood and has taken the first objective from Blacklist on their comfort heroes. Wow, Onyx Esports here. Not back. Backing down without a fight, claiming the turtle on as well as picking up first blood, Boots, who is the executor on Wise. For now, it is quite even though, but on Esports, because of that previous team fight in the turtle, they managed to pick up a 1,000 gold lead. Absolutely, Sans going to, go, going to go in onto the teddy bear right now. Blacklist International again trying to pressure, trying to move as a unit here with Venus, trying to clear the waves. Driando has hit that kind of a power spike here at level 5, right? He will be able to clear the waves faster than Venus right now. And Blacklist International actually going to be losing out in the trades here. Onik has rotated to the top side. Blacklist will be a little bit late to the party. 
Yeah, again, three members here from Satophonic. Oh, Haji already trying to cover. Oh, my Venus, the queen, trying to cover his prince. Dreon will not commit to a fight just yet as both teams looks to just clear the gold shield, the gold yep. buff. Both teams will be able to go on for that, but Sans is the one who eliminates the gold buff, who takes the gold buff for himself. 800 gold lead right now for Onik, but it's going to be Haji looking for a pick on the top side. CW has to be careful, but it is going to be Sans actually noticing that way the dragon has been used to disengage on the fire. CW goes in for the Iron Fender, that's going to be the kill picked up. CW with the kill in the top side on the Ruby. Oheb has used that Chaos Assault, so now Onik are going to go in for the gold turret. Mount of Chakra has been popped, Bruce the Order has been popped as well from the side of Blacklist International. Oheb will be able to survive for now. Ski Boy will be forced to back away after taking two turret shots. Wow, what a play here. But the Queen here trying to face Jack. No commitment just yet. Once again, Sans picking up a kill. No, picking up assist there top side. So still zero kills here for Sans. But Turtle will spawn in a couple of seconds. Oh, oh my Venus going to go in already chunking Onik down. Key Boy now with half HP. Will they go for another pickoff? Will they go for another fight in the Turtle side? It seems like Onik, they have the resources to do so and instantly Sans going to go in with a passive, playing it around, going to go in for the Turtle. But Boots caught in a bad situation right now. He's going to go in for the Falling Star Moon onto Haji. Not going to be able to connect. Haji goes and dashes in with the Dragon. Not just yet available as the turtle will be taken away from the side of Onyx and Haji will be using that Cho, using that way the dragon to disengage. Onyx still with the 1.9 thousand gold lead. Yeah, basically 2,000 2, gold lead here as Wise is looking for a fight mid side here if Haji lets it be. Once again, no way if dragon earlier it was used so perhaps they might pick their battles for now. They just want to clear the lanes as both teams slowing down their pace here but again top side might be the prioritize here for side of science yeah on the esports against pressuring the top side but with haji rotating cw needs to be careful Whoa! look at that man oh my god sans with the incredible timing the holy bathroom will be able to connect onto haji as the damage will not be enough or him now going in for the re on the cw not able to get anything done right now with the circle eagle but till the airlines connecting on a keyboard but the damage from sans will be able to pick him up now wise going to go for the deadly cash is able to zone away the members of cw able to outplay and move and maneuver himself out that situation he's gonna go back in i'm offended not yet available but on esports have gone to the three for zero here in the fifth minute of the game with a 2.6 thousand gold lead yeah it seems like the on esports oh the steal there from wise what a play and sans lost the gold buff once again on esports with low hp they choose to back away for now boots we are seeing that the prince no edward balboa taking on boots bot side here trying to deal pressure but it seems like that boots is winning experience wise oh bod picking up here mountain shocker opens up uh the map and 24 seconds the last turtle will spawn the last turtle will spawn in six uh, in, in a, just a few seconds right now as Venus and Keyboy are going to trade in. It's going to be Venus winning in the trade. It's actually, Keyboy going for Holy Healing. Haji goes in for the way the dragon all the way. And that's going to be Ohem picking the kill onto Keyboy. But what? what? Keyboy what? still managing to survive with the flicker. What the heck? Four seconds left for the turtle though. So Blacklist still have the pressure to be able to take it. But in the bottom side is going to be the trade coming in. Edward caught in a bad situation. Asans will be able to pick a little bit more health right there. Wow. Oh, just really good teamwork from <laughs> Onik right there. Boots tanking it up. But at the top side, CW now trying to waste some time. Wise is going to be the one taking away. CW goes for the I'm a friend, but he's going to get taken. Oh my god! Wise with a deadly catch will be able to catch two of the Onik members. Wow, they were looking to outplay, but Wise says no. Now they want the mid side here. Sans and as well as Keyboy joins the party. There you go. Onyx still managed to defend the mid side. Blacklist looking for the top side. Holy moly. Now the Mountain Jacker popped up. They will have a little bit more vision on the map. Onyx Esports trying to rotate with Blacklist International to the top side. Oheb will be able to pick up the first turret on the second turret on the game. Onik was the one who took that bottom side, but the 3,000 gold lead already turned around for the wow. side of Blacklist. Blacklist International still with the micro plays. He, earlier it was 2k gold for side of Onik Esports, but somehow, some way, they managed to balance out the economy. Takes a look at Keyboy. Oh. Now this time, not this time, he will go down. No flicker for him. Two members only defending the mid-side. Blacklist wants more Oheb. Dealing a lot of damage on towards Gian, but Boots here flanking uh, Falling. Sarmoon did not connect as Blacklist still strong with four, five.
Yeah, Blacklist now with five members strong. San's gonna go in onto the purple buff. We'll try to connect. We'll try to collect it before Blacklist International goes for the siege in the mid lane. And, and it seems like Onik will not be able to get anything done. Blacklist too. Both of the teams just going back to their lanes. Yeah, again, BOD though already picked up for Y. So the deadly catch earlier we saw was huge. But now with BOD, it will be tremendous. Now, CW opening oh! up. Oh my god, it's a solo kill? A solo kill on towards Boost Ball side. Wise oh going ham. But take a look at the mid side here as the river chaos already uh, occur. But uh oh, Drian is low HP. Edward though has Haji, no Haji, Haji, Haji. Haji coming in to claim that kill. CW looking for more as Keyboy and CW retreats from a fight. Oh, Heb dealing a lot of damage onto a CW will claim in CW's life. The way the Dragon B used in Haji gets the kill. The double kill picked up for Oh, Heb is Blacklist International Trage. Three for the price of none. They're back in the game and they're back with a 2.5 thousand gold lead. Suffocating? No, I just want to punish Onik now. That is their philosophy as we take a peek on the items. Wise already picking up that BOD earlier. Now he wants more penetration. So he is on his way to Towards Malefic War. Take a look at Zans though. He is building endless battles. So expect true damage. But Blacklist once again. They take zero time on objectives. Lord will be safely secured. 3,000 gold lead literally overturned just within minutes here. As Blacklist International have gotten that Malefic Roar onto Wise. That's a power spike for the side of the Blacklist team. Onyx Esports are still struggling here in the ninth minute of the game. They need to get some tempo back on their side. Because if not, Ghani, again, Blacklist will use the pace to get the base. Oh, they will use the pace to get the base. For now, wants a choker to reveal once again. Blacklist Haji here trying to find an opening. Oh. Keyboy might be committed, but discover from CW is there. But no commitments. No. Haji does not let it to commit. Right now, Onik Esports defending their lives here for the mid side and managed to clear the wave. So their next uh prio is the top side. Yep, next prior is the top side. Again, Blacklist International playing it super, super smart. Gonna go into the top side, able to play the macro game really, really well. And just like that, another turret falls to the hands of Blacklist International. Onyx Esports are now trying to just defend in their base with the Lord marching down to the bottom side. Edward Balboa will be the one pushing it in as the mid lane tier one will be taken down. Edward is just so, so insane on this hero. We saw him gang many times. Gonna go in already onto Keyboy. As again, mid lane tier two. Two has been taken down. Only the inhibitor turrets left for the side of Onyx Esports as Blacklist International will look to just suffocate their opponents once again in game number two. My oh my Mirko, Onyx Esports once again on the defense now. Edward trying to catch Keyboy here. Deals a, a poking damage there, but yes, Blacklist still in full control. 5,000 gold lead. Six turrets compared to one. And Blacklist still <coughs> with the control here. They might look for a team fight right now because Wise already secured the winner truncheon. So again, survivability. Survivability right now is the Sans. Oh my god, the damage from Edward almost taking away Sans instantly. CW goes in for the Iron Offender onto Wise, able to connect on the win. The damage will be enough to take him down. But Edward on the other side though, he's gonna go for more. Drian jumps in with the Entropy. Edward forced to back away as Boots is wreaking havoc into the back side. No falling time with just as of yet and that's gonna be the guiding win. Taking Haji to a trip with Matilda Airlines. But Onik will look to push on to the mid lane. They got Wise on the board. That's the jungler out already of commission. And Arnick Esports will look for some more. Edward though has a nasty, nasty position if they're looking for a fight right now. San's gonna go in right there. Drian's gonna be the target. Edward, Whoa. what the heck was that? He gets the kill on the Drian and he's looking for more. Knockoff Strike not just available for him yet as now it's gonna be Haji looking for the engage. Not gonna be able to get anything done. Knockoff Strike will be able to connect all the CW only. Haji goes in for the Shampoo. Able to go in to the backside where the dragon not just used, but it is gonna be able to connect all the CW only right now with Ohev joining the fight. It's gonna be CW going for the I'm offended. The damage will be enough to pick up another kill. Haji's next on the chopping block. Sans gets the kill. Double kill picked up for the Indonesian champions right now as Edward Balboa tries to find his way out of there. The triple kill will be picked up by Sans. Sans. Boom! Shakalaka. Onyx Esports still wants more. Falling Simon connects on towards Wise, but Wise still enough damage to make Boots retreat. For now though, Onyx Esports still behind on economy, but only 200 gold. Sans still on the Whoa. offense. Uh oh, deadly catches. 
sounds, just be careful. Traceless was used, but there you go, the cover. Boots and as well as Keyboy. Oh, oh Wise! The Holy Baptism connects and Boots will claim Wise. There you go, the 3,000 gold lead again overturned by the side of Honda Esports. Sans is gonna go in Oheb, clearing the waves as again, the game just keeps on going and we have a grand finals on our hands. Onyx coming back again in the game. This is what I want to see, Ghani. I want to see Blacklist tested to their utter limits. I didn't expect them to be able to be pushed this far by Onyx, but man, they're doing it. They are doing it, Mirko, and take a look. It was six turrets compared to one, but take a look at it now. It's six to six. Onyx Esports really turning the game around. It's still even though, but then again, Onyx Esports responding with towards Blacklist. Right now, they look to prioritize this Lord. They are looking to prioritize this Lord right now. Zonic used the entropy all the way. Haji goes in for the concealed play, trying to go for some damage right now. Sans will be the one going in, taking the Lord. Then the catch will be able to connect. Boots goes in for the far side, onto two right now. That's gonna be Sans kicked off all the way out of the fight. Sans goes back in. The concealed picked up. Drian caught in a bad situation, but he's gonna be taken down right there by Edward Balboa. Boots on the midst of it all, going for the 2v1, but Sans is here to save his teammate. But the damage from Wise, almost taking him down, protecting O'Hare in the process as well. Well, Boots goes in for the following time, we're able to get taken down, and that's gonna be the two for two right now for the side of Blacklist International. They still have all the members left up, three versus three as of right now. It's gonna be Edward jumping on to Sans right now. The damage is not gonna be enough, but Sans still able to get away, but the Lord will be taken down, Ghani. Yes, indeed. Keyboard here needs to be careful. Holy oh. Baptism, though, will connect, and Wise, no, Sans will secure that kill. Edward Balboa, 2v1 situation, Oy. still not enough. There you go, double kill for side of Sans, still on a Sports with a 3k gold lead here and as well as the super minions. Sublime defending right there from inside of Blacklist International. They were able to take the Lord before Onik got anything done onto the turrets, but they need to stay consistent right now because Onik, they're going on hungry for more. Haji's gonna get, I'm offended all the way to the team. The damage will come through and the immortality will be popped, but oh, him on the backside is trying to save the game. Sans gets in and picks up the legendary for himself. Gonna go onto the turret right now on the bottom side. Inhibitor turret number two taken down in the game. Onik Esports are looking to end the game right now. Sans jumps in onto the way to Venus. The Matilda the airlines have been shut down and Onyx have broken the code. Onyx Esports with the delay. Matilda Airlines cancelled for game number two. Onyx Esports equalizing and there you go. One, one to the series. We got a match. We got a series. Blacklist. Four wise. One of the signature picks as well back in season seven of MPLPH. We haven't seen a lot of this in the current patch because again, it has been nerfed here, Ghani. The yeah. Granger has been nerfed from this patch. But with the drafts now, I said Onik would have I said Onik had the better draft in game number one. I said Blacklist had the better draft in game number two. I was wrong both of the times. I have no idea. Let's just go for the execution. <laughs> but maybe, Ghani, you can share some lights. Honestly, man, I'm still because just on that cell soul factor, Yi Sanshin, force out of Sans, I might have to go for Onik this time. Well, all right, there you go. One vote for Onik already from Ghani, from the caster. As now, we are gonna dive into the game once again here, Ghani, as the portal will open. The land of dawn awaits. Hashtag break the code or hashtag go Onik because we are in for a third game here in our grand finals. Onik versus Blacklist. Onik versus Blacklist. Once again, Indonesia taking on the Philippines here for the third game. Once again, Oh My Venus will definitely play Matilda Airlines. And again, yeah, Driana will play that game. For now, we can see her jawhead babysitting Granger for a fast purple, oh no, orange buff clear. Yeah, right there again. Wise already trying to go for the orange buff very, very safely. Keyboy has got a vision on that. So it is going to be the fallout fight here for the little wanderer. Haji has been chunked quite low. Sans will be chunked as well by the damage coming from Venus. As this is going to be the battle of the retribution. Sans will pick it up. And there we go. Boots goes in for the flicker stun all the way onto Haji. Forces another flicker on the board. Sans will go for the teddy bear right now. Onik already with the pace coming into the game. Going against the marksman. But look at the damage. Venus coming with Matilda Airlines. Maybe able to get a solo kill onto Sans. Forcing him back away. Wise goes in for Retribution and will be able to claim his own jungle and already just brawls across the map here in the first minute of the game. Wow. Similar to game number one action from minute number one once again. Now though, slowing down their pace here as Matilda and Jawhead looks to set up something in the mid side here. Venus moving aggressively on towards Keyboy. Ejector oi, oi, oi. connects on towards Rian. Rian takes a lot of damage as well, but still both of the mid side 
uh, pairs survives. There you go, Secret Lab Titan Evo 2022. Level up your setup with pro get grade comfort. We saw in the gaming house of Blacklist International, they mm. had a Secret Lab. So wait a minute, the damage coming in. Haji will be able to look for something. Asan's brilliant, brilliant first ability to get out of that one as the Mountain Shocker will be popped to get some vision all across the map. Edward actually losing out here in the trade against Boots in that bottom side. Wow, we can see here another action, all three lanes. But yes, Oh My Venus as well as Haji here. Not at a full health. Will they commit to this Lord? Because with that information, though, top side, Channel 4 has been popped, but CW oh, will yeah, claim his solo kill on towards O'Head. An all out war here in the jungles. Haji looks for Adrian. Now, Ejector connects, but no fall off damage. Haji will be claims. CW claims a double kill. CW signature hero here on the Popo and Koopa. This is what we expect from him using that Popo. But Venus is going to go in to open up the map, dealing a lot of damage onto Keyboy right now with Adrian and Sans hitting onto the Zertal. Black is international. Will they be able to go and contest for the Zertal? The answer is most most probably going to be no as Venus is going to be zoned away from Keyboy right now. And there you go, Guiding Wind to get him out. But the turtle will be taken away by the Indonesian representatives here. But look at the top side, Haji gets an ejector and Ohem equalizes. Wow, what a play here. Keyboy with the late cover and Blacklist finding compensation from that turtle. Claiming not just any member, but a gold laner from side of Onik. Now, Onik Esports might commit to a fight, but Sans. I know Sans, he just wants to get the gold buff. Yep, he just wants to get the gold buff. He's gonna get the gold buff indeed right now. Already kind of equalized here as Blacklist International will look to get the, their hands into the game once again. Onik has already rotated. Venus goes in for the very, very aggressive guiding win, but it's gonna be Sans taking the teddy bear once again right now. Not really going for anything aggressive as both of the teams will just go for their farms individually until the next neutral objective respawns. Yeah, as of right now here, Onik with the lead, a thousand gold lead here. Will they follow it up with an initiative or will uh, Blacklist uh, find a turnaround for now. CW and as well as Keyboy setting something up top side. But Haji and All oh My Venus is there to cover. There you go. My Venus coming in. The coordination three members. Shaman Force has been popped. But CW and as well as Keyboy looks for kites and Blacklist disengages from top side. There you go. They've disengaged from the top side. It is going to be Onik actually winning out in the trades, winning out in the rotations there as Blacklist was able, was baited basically to that top side right now with Onik on the pace. Getting the turret gold is going to be really, really good for the Mount Shocker again. Again, to deal some damage onto Oheb will be chunked to half HP with the damage coming in also from CW as Wise will just keep on clearing the ways, will keep on clearing his own jungle creeps right now. Not really going to look for too much. Again, both teams just waiting for the next neutral objective that is going to be spawning in 17 seconds. Okay, yes, indeed. But take a look here. Three members from side of Onik already come in top side here as Haji is the only. Nope, Oheb is there. Wise is also there. An all out war might occur here. Gold Shield turret has been popped. Oh, Shaman Force to retreat. The members from side of Onik take a look at Drian as well as Oh My Venus. Oh my lord, that's so not a connect. There you go, the cover. Drian and friends still surviving this one. Absolutely, Onik were able to get a lot of the turret shield down there in that top side, but Blacklist International will have the tempo coming into the next turtle on the board. Getting the clear into the minion waves with Wise and Venus. The VY's ultimate bonding experience coming in here. It is going to be Boots forced to back away for now. Onik Esports will look to reroute in that turtle position. Oh, have still trying his best to clear the ways, but wait a minute, uh -oh. Drian caught a bad situation, is going to be the Circle Eagle connecting as well, and Drian going to get taken down, that's going to be Blacklist with the pressure on the turtle. Ooh. Now with the Mountain Shocker popped as well, Onik Esports, they have a CW who has rotated, so this might be the chance for the side of Onik to go for some fights, Sans dashes in, and that is going to be a Blacklist International zone away from the turtle. They might go for it, and it's going to be the turtle picked up, even though Blacklist takes a 1 for 0, Ohem was still stuck in that top side, so Onik were able to equalize in terms of the manpower. Wow, the rotation from CW was clutched there, realizing that Rian was taken down, but top side there. Blacklist managed to find a compensation taking to our top side right now, though. And all right, bro, my brew. Keyboy and CW not looking Oi. too good. There you go, Ejector oh. connects and claims two members from side of Oni. Keyboy and CW down for 10 seconds. There you go, the Queen, the Prince, and Wise will be able to pick up two members on the board. Keyboy and CW, but in the bottom side, Boots goes in for 1v1 against Edwards. Still able to win out in the trade for now, but look at that. Dreon, he's coming in. He has the flicker. Will he be able to use it? The flicker will be there. But he's gonna miss! Edward with the plays! Will not be able to outplay though. Unfortunately, the flicker comes in. Will be able to get the kill on the Drian though, as that is. Dri Wait. Drian? Buying time. Buying time. But in the end, it's Venus who picks yeah. it up. 
the queen there. Now though, the with the space created, Onik will claim not not just yet. No, no, Blacklist no. Blacklist no. says no, it is solo, but Blacklist still with the response. Blacklist still with the response. Onik Esports will be able to equalize in turrets with the top side taken down right there. But Blacklist's mid lane is very, very low. They're looking to go and push that out, and right now. It's working. Haji goes in for the ejector. He was going to be targeting right now. Damage coming in. That's Sonata. Will not be able to take him down just yet. Rhapsody does not connect. And a mountain shocker to spot the vision was brilliant from Yi San's Shin. Wow, Keyboy, they, how did he manage to survive that one? I mean, the setup was clean, but Keyboy's mechanics was perhaps cleaner. Oh, with that deadly catch. Bane, Gian in the mid side and claims the mid side turret. Blacklist with a d down a turret. Blacklist down a turret now. Two to one for the side of Ana Esports as the traps are just so annoying. Able to get some vision on the board and Haji's early game aggression has just been halted by most of the traps coming in from the Popo and Koopa who was actually playing in that top side, Ghani. Mm. Now though, it is going to be Blacklist being the ones to try to pressure the turtle once again. Both turrets and top side has been taken down. It's going to be Edward on the proactive movements getting that turtle back to the side of Blacklist International. But Onik, they don't want to let this go. Yeah, four members though from side of Blacklist still jumping around and around. Oh, circling Eagle here might just connect Edward with the damage onto his Sans. Sans zoned away with Sans. Oh, deadly catch catches Edward. No, Raphael will claim that kill. Haji forces Wicker away. Oh, my Venus as well. The re engage from side of Onyx Esports is too huge. Blacklist. Retreats. Sans able to get away in the Mountain Shocker to get some vision as Drian goes in for the deadly catch. That was simply beautiful from the side of Onyx Esports. And they're looking for the turtle right now. Drian playing this Bane in the mid lane. We mentioned his hero pool and it shines time and time again right here in the grand finals of MPL Invitational. Sans early going in for the waves in the mid lane, trying and killing actually, using the retribution to clear the waves faster. CW though, he's got to be careful. Blacklist are hungry and they're going to go for CW. The cancels! What was that? CW with the outplays. What the heck? The 3v1 as Onik comes in for the plays. Oh, have caught in the bad situation. Gonna get taken down and Onik Esports will take three kills for the price of none. Onik Esports here. They are angrier than Blacklist. And Blacklist, they are on the back foot. Two members only in Land of Dawn for now. Onik Esports looks to claim more control. Drian though catches Edward, but no commitments because they are only two members. They will not look for a fight, but Drian as well as Keyboy might catch Wise here in the mid side. Wise trying desperately, trying to clear the lanes, but mid side turret will fall here. There you go. Then the catch being used. Edward caught in the bad situation, forced to flicker away, but the damage coming in from Sans. He's Sans Shin, baby, in the building as Haji goes in for the re engage. Tries to get the ejector, but he's gonna get taken down in the process. And Blacklist have it, are in a 6,000 gold deficit to the Indonesian champs, Ghani. Wow, Wani Esports claiming the space, limiting the movements from side of Blacklist. Once again, Onyx Esports still in full control. What Blacklist, they still have their chance to turn this around. Realizing that they have Herod in the late game. It's so crazy. And of course, Matilda Airlines with the backup might turn this game around. Right now though, they might want the top side turret. Edward dealing a lot of damage, trying to defend. Oh my Venus, the cavalry from side of Blacklist will be able, will be enough to make, oh Onyx re -engage. Haji claims down and as well as Oh my Venus retreating right now. Blacklist, that's not us. Oh my god, all out war. All out war coming in. Edward gets jumped really low and the last hit to pick him up. The killing spree by Yi Sans Shin. What the heck, man? 7,000 gold lead already picked up by the side of Ana Esports and they're going more for the orange buff. Blacklist International. They are a team that comes back from the situation so you can never, Ghani, count them off. They want the code to be broken. They want to learn from their mistakes and this is exactly what we're seeing. They're being tested to their limits. My oh my. They are tested to their limits. Take a look at the stat here for Sans as well as Wizen. Take a look at Edward here. Edward Robel Boa on a Paquito, not looking too good. Zero through z zero three zero and for side of Onik though, take a look at Sans. Three zero four, my dude. 3-0-4 for Sans, 0-3-0 again for Edward Balboa, not having a good game for now, but Blacklist International trying to secure that purple buff for Oheb, this is going to be huge for him, again, Oheb has been the basically the main guy here, when he gets the Herith, he is the main carry, Wise is the jungler, but the Lord now marching down to the bottom side, on Esports will look to go for the end, but can they end against this composition, against this team, it is going to be Oheb going in for the damage onto Boots, not much right here for the side of Blacklist International, as V 
Venus doesn't choose to go for that circling eagle. Wow, the movements from the side of Blacklist here, trying to pick up a member from the side of Onyx, but Onyx says no. Right now with the Lord push here, they will pick up all the turrets outside, but how many innovators will they take down? Right now, Blacklist committing bot side here. It's clean, it's just committing to take the Lord down, but Onyx will have the space to take down top side turret. Not just the top side of the turret, but Drian already pushing in the mid wave as well. Black is international losing the inhibitor turret in the top side. Now looking for the defense of the century. Will be able to do it right here. Glorious Pathway hasn't popped up. Edward goes in for the knockout strike. Unable to get anything done. As that's going to be the Haji going for the ensemble force. Ejector as well, but onto his own team. Edward jumps back and forth, trying to deal some damage. The Mountain Tracker comes in. Wise is going to be taken down. And Black is international have lost one. Isan Shin going in again, trying to deal some damage. As that's going to be Edward taken down by CW. The MVP for the Grand Finals in Indonesia. Egypt, but Sans is going to be the target right now once again. Strictly Eagle able to get cancelled and he's still alive. He San Xin able to get out even though Boots gets taken down. The inhibitor turret in the mid lane will be falling down and Onyx will have picked up the pace. Sans comes in once again. Blacklist International with three members strong. Will he be able to defend right now with the turrets coming in and the damage will be able to be enough. That's going to be Oh have cancelled away and that is going to be Sans and Onyx taking it to match points. Onyx Esports claiming game number three match points. The yellow porcupines and yes black lakes international once again they got out God for CW in the gold Whoa. lane going against Lunox. That is going to be a very, very interesting composition right here. Let's see how this plays out. Right there as the players swap their heroes, we are going to see who ends up with the heroes that we just, you know, we, we just witnessed right there. Will yeah. it be Sans on the Nathan or perhaps will it be Claude in the jungle? Something that we haven't seen for a very long time, but is definitely still... You know, you can still play it, kind of. That is true. But there you go. The 10 heroes that will oh. answer the Land of Dawn. Land of Dawn for game number four. Championship points for Onik. And Blacklist looks for an equalize. Yeah, Blacklist looks to equalize here in game number four. Two to two is going to be the score that they want to go for. And this is going to be on an eSports draft as well. Nathan picked up. We see the Claude as well. So Nathan will be played by Sans. It is going to be Drian actually playing the Claude. Whoa. And Keyboy is going to be the one playing the Rafaela as Gotti. Are you ready for game number four? Match points. Will Blacklist be able to come back? Let's dive straight into it. Hashtag break the code or hashtag go. Onyx. Once again, guys, yeah, match point four is out of Onyx, but take a look here in the river. Oh, Keyboy takes a lot of damage already from Venus and as well as Haji. Both junglers, though, seems to comfortably securing their buffs respectively. Absolutely. The last Kage right here, Drian able to go and clear the waves from Haji, but again, Haji just does so, so much on that Farsa, able to chunk Claude very, very low, but oh, it's now. gonna be Claude, yeah. yeah. There go. It's gonna be Claude in the gold lane, in the, in the mid lane, my bad, right here as Wise rotates again. This Bane jungle has just been so, so annoying for Onik for RRQ. This Bane jungle has been basically the pinnacle for the side of Blacklist International. Every time they do get this Bane, it has been really, really successful in early game because it lets them secure all these early game advantages. Yeah, I agree here. Right now, though, Keyboy on this Rafala is just so, uh, so brave against this Venus again once again you can see here both teams want to clear the lane here in the mid side Keyboy as well as Drian still sustaining the damage and pressure from Blacklist International yep Drian already going in on to that little wanderer able to take it away as now is going to be Keyboy chunked very low almost taken down actually as Venus goes in and the damage won't be enough for now CW now rotates and oh my god first blood will be taken by the last Kage a brilliant brilliant rotation by CW and is looking for more right now the Jeet Kune Do not just available and that's going to be Onik taking the first blood but again, as the top side, Sans will be able to bully Oheb away from the lane. CW getting a little, little bit of an engage, getting a little bit of a gold lead as well. What a coordination there by CW, the gold laner in its midst right now. No Oheb way. might be caught, and Sans is with the information here, dealing a lot of damage on towards Oheb, but Venus will Oi. not be able to support him because Oheb will go down and enhance the CW key boy for the healing. What a setup. Onik with the rotation coming in in the second minute of the game, where they're picking up two kills on the board. Venus now, gonna try to go and try to dunk, steal some damage, but healing will come through. CW caught a very low HP. Z-Boy is gonna be able to tank the turret right now. Sans goes in for the kill, and Venus will fall for 
for the first time in the game already. 3 to 0. Onyx Esports pushing the pace in the third and fourth game right here. Wow, economy wise, Onyx already in their favor. Take a look here. Why? Trying to get compensation here. Claiming that purple buff from the side of Onyx Esports. We will we'll have to see here. Will it create an impact on towards Onyx? Because, of course, Blacklist, they will try to relieve off pressure. And right now, Veem is moving so aggressively. GW, oh. we have Dragon connects on towards Venus. Venus, will he survive this one? Because Venus, with on this Matilda, is so, so tanky. Oh, the Wise. one shot. The one shot. The snipe from Wise claims a kill from Dreon. Holy, what was that, Wise? He got the kill, and there you go. They're starting the equalize already. You can never count Blacklist out. And there you have it, Garni. The deadly catch coming in, and Sans is orange buff. Will be taken away. Arg, the pirate comes in, Garni. Arg, the pirate <laughs> comes in. And there you go. Blacklist immediately respond with the compensation. They managed to respond here. Take a look, Onyx Esports with the 300 gold lead only. For now, though, Blacklist still needs to be careful. Again, both teams playing it carefully. Both teams playing it carefully. Onyx Esports with the initial, initial good play on the map. 700 gold lead, just now a 1.5, but already Blacklist International looking to convert that gold lead back to their own. Onyx Esports rotating to the bottom side once again, trying to get some pressure on the map as Edward will be bullied out of that minion wave with Boots now. Having a slow push joining in, they might just go for an objective on the other side, but CW needs to be careful because Venus has rotated to the top side. He's going to go look to cancel. CW going to get chunk quite low, but the Chun Poo is still there. Wow. Venus is there is resilient on top side, but take a look at this side here as both of the mid laners, you know, mid laners and as well as Rome are both stunned, but take a look at top side here. CW does not have the way of dragon just yet. Jet Kundo to deal damage with V-Boy is there to cover him up. CW might want the kill, but Venus with the flicker to clutch his life. Oh, with two members already rotating to the top side as well. Blacklist will be forced to back away. Drian pops into battle mirror image. Sans is going to be the one going in. Drian will be the one claiming it as Turtle number two has spawned in the bottom side, and it looks like it won't be contested at all. Onyx Esports are trying to go for the trades in the top side. We'll be able to clear the lanes and that is going to be Onyx Esports trying to desperately to get that top side turret traded in. Ohem goes over the Chaos Assault Nightmare shot just yet. GW goes over the way the Dragon that's going to be the kill picked up by Ohem and that's going to be Ohem taken down. But the airstrike has been popped. Sounds going to get taken down by Venus right now. CW dodges away from the other Feather Airstrikes. Blacklist International have just turned around the gold lead and there you go. They're back in the game, Gani. They are back in the game with the kill on towards San. That was an expensive kill right now the wise already setting it up in the orange buff here taking no time once again sans will have no orange buff sans will not have this orange buff but wait a minute sans okay he doesn't quite read it and that's gonna be wise picking it up again on an esports still somehow managing to get that gold lead on their side. Blacklist though, with two level advantage on Wise towards Sans. This is gonna get scarier and scarier as the game goes on, but Edward now in a 1v1 against Boots, goes in for the falling star and as Edward is gonna get chunked quite low. The damage is certainly real. Edward forced to back away right now. No reinforcement just as if yet, but the Feather Airstrike comes into the mid lane to be able to clear some waves. Battle mirror image instantly popped by Drian, getting him out. Getting him out of that sticky situation. Yeah, absolutely here. On Esports earlier, they want the mid side, but of course with Feather Airstrike, they managed to clear the lane, the mid side very, very swiftly. Right now, Haji is in a tough situation, but no commitments just yet because they are lack in man resources here top side. Right now though, once again, Blacklist still in control. Blacklist still in control. 300 gold lead picked up for the side of Blacklist International. Still a very Whoa. even game, but wait a minute. Sans actually gets taken a very low HP, goes in for the entropy, but is that wise? There we go. It is going to be him popping it back. Venus already looking for the engage to the backside, trying to go for the Circle Eagle, not able to get anything done right here as Onik will look to go and rotate back to the mid lane. Haji going to get taken very low. Already Boots goes in for the Falling Star Moon, unable to connect on Haji. Haji goes in for the Wings by Wings, and there we go. Blacklist backing away. Way instantly. Yeah, again on the esports still hanging on here. Keyboy with low HP oh, with the yeah, flicker. Yeah, yeah. Only baptism will not connect. Oh, we have dragon does oh. not have enough damage. And there you go. Two members from the side of Onyx Esports will go down. There you go. Two members taken down as Wise goes in. A chunk the mid lane turret will be able to take it down. Venus now goes in on the Drian. The retribution has been popped, but Drian will still be able to get away out of that one. Blacklist International Ferocious looking for more in the mid lane as they look to keep on pushing in. Nathan is three levels behind of this. 
wise. And now Venus goes in, actually zones in away. Sans forced to use the entropy, getting back out of there. The orange buff will be resetted, and they might look for a fight onto this. Sans still has the retribution. Now it's gonna be the chance. Gonna be CW going in for the way the dragon all the way to Venus. Still able to get it done. And that's gonna be Sans picking up the kill for now. Still, Sans doesn't have the orange buff. It was actually taken away by Keyboy. So in this game, he has only taken it once so far. Garnius, the bottom wow. side will be the target. Wise goes in and will be able to steal the purple buff away. Now with the blaze doing coming in, it's gonna be Wise taken down very low and taken down completely as Onyx Esports look to equalize once again. Wow, the ad adaptation there from side of Onyx Esports, realizing the rotation from Bane was towards that purple buff. There you go, the gang, four members, and Wise gets taken down for the first time. Right now, Onyx Esports, they want the bot side here. Edward, will he manage to defend this one? Finally, Star Moon connects on towards Edward, but Edward oh. calmly with the clear of the bot side. Edward, so, so smart playing it with the minion waves. They, he knows the damage, the damage he can do to that minion wave, the clear that he's able to produce, and that's gonna be CW in a 1v1 against Oheb going in for the Jeet Kune Do, unable to connect right now, as Oheb will just go back on recall. Wise gonna go in onto his orange buff again, but both teams, again, the gold lead has just been shifting back and forth, back and forth constantly. Mm. The gold snap has been picked up by Drea. Circle Eagle now connecting on the Drea, but oh my god, the battle the bait. will be able to bait him all the way behind, and Venus gets pulled back. Now, with the engage, Johnny Esports trying to go in, Holy Baptism does connect, and that's gonna be Boost looking for the kill onto Venus, will be able to get it, and that is gonna be Wise, trying to look for the trades. Keyboy's still able to dash away, but it's gonna be Wise taking up the kill with the, with the pistol, and there you go, a one for one in the bottom side. One for one for uh, in the bottom side, and right now top side though, Onyx Esports, they look nasty. Again, you're right, gold lead back and forth, but both teams slowing down their pace finally, but yeah, anyone still. It is still anybody's game. It is still anybody's game here. Onyx and Blacklist International, they have an equal chance to win this game. It is still, you, can, you can't really talk about who can win this game because both of them certainly have the chance. It is just going to come down to execution. But for Onyx, they do have a slight lead right now. 200 already shifting again. You see, the goalie just keeps on shifting back and forth, back and forth. We never really know who has the lead at this point because, again, it's still a dead even game in the center. The Lord has spawned in the land of Dawn. And there we go, Ghani. This the time to go in for the blazing duet all the way to the back side and the bear the battle mirror image will be able to bring blacklist back to the base now wise caught in the bad situation holy baptism connects and sans joins in wise now is gonna get taken down maybe perhaps and the feather airstrike comes in for the support then the catch will be able to get this kill as well edward joins in but the way the dragon will be able to connect onto edward and that's gonna pick up on towards edward cw gonna go in for the jeet kune do oh have to take him very low as boots dives into the turret to get the kill he's gonna get traded back though not just yet but wise or it goes in for the pistol shot the pirate wise here claiming that kill a very very critical kill critical kill <laughs> right now but yes keyboy surviving with one hp again blackly still is in the game, Gian with the fast clear about side. Yeah, the critical kill right there <laughs> for Wise. I do agree with you on that. A little bit of a tongue twister for Ghani, but Blacklist International, again, even though they lost in that team fight, they were actually able to time the death timers. They were actually to time the deaths really, really well. So they came up all together onto the Lord now, and it is actually them getting the pressure onto this turtle, onto this Lord, maybe. My bad. Now, already taking a half HP. Keyboy gonna get taken even lower right the feather. Airstrike coming in. That leaves. And oh my god, the catch will be able to get that. It's gonna be the Lord taken down. Blacklist International are in prime position to go for the engage. Venus goes in for the circling eagle. No follow-up just as of yet. Drian goes in and gets the turret and both teams will be able to trade a one for zero for the side of Blacklist International, but they do get that first Lord in the game. Blacklist, very, very smart. They're very, very wise. They're committing to Lord and catching a kill yeah. on towards CW. Now on the eSports, they are in the, on the defense, but with this first Lord here, Blacklist looks to claim their control. Absolutely, man. Hashtag break the code or hashtag go on it for everyone in the chat right now because it's actually the beginning. Dodging in with a guiding wind, forced to flicker away, and on esports now in the back foot. They need yeah. to go and clear the waves in the mid lane right now with the help of Keyboy, Boots, and Drian. Sans also joining in. The Lord will certainly be taken down, but in the bottom side, CW is waiting in the bushes. He's gonna go with Ray the Dragon onto Edward, unable to get anything done right now as there is no follow up on esports. Just choosing to recall to go for the defense for now. But the S-Rack has been popped, not connecting onto anyone unfortunately, and on esports again just going in for the clears on every single lane. It is still Black International with the lead getting every single turret on the board it is going to be the mid lane turret also falling down and there you go blacklist pushing the pace blacklist pushing the pace still on the offense here pressure is on on the esports boots trying to take the damage here trying to buy time 
for Onik Esports for his teammates to clear the wave. Soft side as well as mid side. Right now, Onik looks for a team fight. Falling Star Moon is not there just yet. But take boots, a look boots. here. Onik Esports Falling Star Moon does not connect to on, on towards anyone. Blacklist is ready for a fight as well. Yeah, both teams are ready for fights here. Edward is waiting in the midst, trying to go for the flank. Perhaps going on to Drian or Sans is going to be huge. But for now. Blacklist yep. still leads with an 800 gold lead. Mm, still with an 800 gold. Oh, 1,000 now. Take a look here, bot side. Venus opening up the map. CW needs to check Eagle. Oh, oh. circling Eagle connects. Oh, oh no, there you go, Dreon. No. Blazing Duet and Wave Dragon Synergy takes Venus down. Oh my god, a mistake by Venus. He goes in. Actually, a mistake by Oheb, perhaps, because he didn't follow through with the guiding win there. Venus went in for the circling Eagle, knowing that he may, maybe he could have gotten the pick with Oheb joining him in. But now, Sans has hit that 15 level power spike, all right? Just now, Wise had a two level lead, but not anymore. It is going to be on eSports with the power spikes right now. Wise, though, is going to be caught up, perhaps. Keyboy is going to be chasing him down. Why does so much damage? Keyboy is able to heal back up though. And now the cavalry has joined in. And should be being used by Sans to deal some damage on the wise. Deadly Cash will be able to connect, but it's going to be the point. Someone connecting on the wise. And now caught in the 1v3 situation. Trying to go and buy some time for the team. But the fact that Strike connects and has to be Edward. Edward! Edward! Wise! Wise! Still manages to live. Still manages to buy some time for his team as Edward Balboa just destroys the backside. My oh my. Two for one for now. Edward still very, very strong here as CW brings in with. Dragon connects onto Edward. Edward will go down in the hands of Boots. Right now, CW wants Haji. Haji forces to use the wings by wings for defense. Onik Esports somehow equalizing from that trade. Both junglers and as well as Edward as well as Rihanna will go down in minute number 13. Holy crap, we have a game in our hands right here, Ghani. Both Blacklist and Onik making the plays in this game, trying to survive in the game. You saw the winner's truncheon used by Wise to buy a little bit more time. You saw the insane rotations by Edward and Haji, but unfortunately, Onik were the ones who were able to get the favorable trade on the top side with CW. Mm, you're absolutely right here. A blacklist still in favor here, Mirko. They take down, they took down a six turrets from side of Onik and Onik Esports still only with three. Again, Onik Esports with the limit limitation, with their limitation of space, they might find a fight because 20 seconds, Lord will spawn. 20 seconds, Lord will spawn. Onik Esports already with the pressure, already with the pace right now. The 300 Goldie now is going to be Keyboy actually disengaged on. He still has that Holy Healing, still has the Athena to be able to escape though. So, so scary every single time we see both of these players collapse. Edward already going to be able to buy some time, able to open up the map in the top side. It is going to be Onik Esports with the pressure once again. Able to clear the waves right here as Edward dashes back and forward, back and forward. Onik Esports now clearing the waves in the mid lane, going to start the Lord in the top side. Sans is going to be the one turning it on. Wise uh -oh. has this deadly catch. It can be used to go for the disengage. It can be used to go for the engage. It's just a matter of how he wants to use, utilize this damage. But the strike has been bumped. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Wise gets the deadly catch. No, the stun from the side of Haji is huge. For now, Drian, one Drian, member, Drian. Drian, though, on the backside oh! will not get taken down as Edward is, uh, is the one to fall. For now, Lord will oh, be playing the hands of Onek. Esports. On the Esports, Trickle Eagle connecting to the backside. Boots gonna be the target, still able to survive with Feather Airstrike comes in, and Boots is gonna get slain. But look at Sans, he wants more, and he's gonna get a triple kill, Ghani. The wipe out for On Esports as they're looking to end the game. The grand finals in the fourth game, On Esports have managed to get the Lord and also the 3,000 gold lead. My oh my, and look at this On Esports marching bot side here. They might end Wait, the minute. game here, Deja Vu to RRQ versus Onik as Onik they've done it they're gonna go in Edward is the last man standing as the only baptism connects they're gonna go in for the base Edward's still able to defend for now knock on track last on two Edward what is this he still defends the base but not for long oh my god Edward Balboa Edward Balboa with the defense of century there Onik Esports with the offense but Edward says no my dude Lord plus two members he he managed to win it all. What a play, Edward Balboa. Welcome to the grand finals of MPLI, where miracles happen and dreams are shattered. Blacklist International coming in once again, trying to reverse sweep the Onik Esports, the Indonesian champions. Boots, he's done it before. Will he be able to do it again? Now with Drian spawning in, there's going to be a lot of damage played for the Strike House. Pop. Drian goes up for Basie to win. And oh my god, Onik with the way the dragon. CW gets wise, and the turn after turn after turn, the Indonesian champions are coming in hot. 
double kill claiming the hands of boots and they are back in the offense blacklist though on the defense only two members take a look at the timers man 30 seconds the last three members for a set of blacklist will on it close this out or will they play the patient game they're gonna look for the close out gone on esports already rotating three members into the mid lane and to be used knockoff strike being used but edward edward balboa he's gonna get kicked off he's gonna get chain cc'd he's gonna get taken down on it with the victory what the heck was that what a performance the kings have finally been crowned back to back champions mpl ID Season 8 and as well as MPLI champions Onyx Esports, the yellow porcupine is looking very, very ready for M3. What the heck? What 